People's Bank in Prestonsburg presented over $50,000 to the Floyd County Fallen Heroes Foundation Monday morning. Well, really, it was just a partnership with a lot of um, our community partners and just citizens of Floyd County and surrounding areas. After three officers lost their lives in the line of duty on June 30th, People's Bank in Prestonsburg presented a check for $51,330 to the Floyd County Fallen Hero Foundation. People's Bank Senior Vice President of Sales, Casey LaQuire, comments on the community's efforts. Yeah, we, we had some, you know, I think the great thing about the contributions to this account was, you know, we had some large donors, folks that gave five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. But I think the real value in this process was we had a lot of people give $10, $15, $50, $100. Uh, and the money keeps coming in. So I, I think it's just a great example of in our community that, that people come together at the right time to support their neighbors. Uh, and we're just, we're happy to be a small part of that. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our Experienced heart specialist and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our when it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. Till the end of July, People's Bank will continue to accept funds for the families of the fallen officers and first responders. Floyd County Judge Executive Robbie Williams and Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton comment on how those funds will be utilized. I guess in the short term, it's going to cover um, transportation, food, lodging, things of that nature. We still have individuals who are in, uh, in the hospital, in the University of Kentucky. We still have individuals who are receiving medical care. We just had one individual had to go for another surgery here just a couple days ago. So we're, we're trying to ensure that these folks don't have to worry about their finances. I mean, it's difficult to ask folks to go out here and do a job that, you know, that uh, sort of thankless and, 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 and folks really with what's going on in the, in the world today, you, you know, being a policeman and, uh, but it's, it's just good to see the community step up and do the right thing and ensure that these folks are taken care of. You know, a lot of people talk about, well, they got workers comp. Workers comp pays for medical bills and it pays a percentage of the check, but that's not going to take care of people traveling back and forth to Lexington, travel back and forth to doctor's appointment stuff. That's where the expenses come in. That's where they need the most help. And this is going to be very beneficial to them. If you would like to donate, you can make a payment to the Floyd County Fallen Heroes Foundation at People's Bank by August 1st. Other donations can be made to the Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky. You can visit the link in the description. Reporting from Prestonsburg, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.